chaos breaks free. I mean, they're not wrong. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 3 Official Trailer Reaction and Breakdown. Yes, we have waited for about a month and a half, I think. I know it's been at least a month since the teaser trailer showed up, which I didn't do a breakdown of that. I apologize for all that wanted me to, but I think I was so busy at that time, like I just didn't, I couldn't do it, guys. But don't worry, we've got a lot of work with this video, with this trailer, trust me. And so we're gonna break it, in this video, we're just gonna watch it, react, break it down and stuff. And maybe I'll do a few other videos on it, like, I already have one, I already have two planned, actually. I may even have more. Good God. I, I try and go have a little bit of a break from YouTube and then boom, trailer release. I knew it was gonna happen. Why'd I say I was gonna go for a break? Anyway, we, we've got our cup of tea and also we've got um, some friends. We've got Rodrigo, Rexy, and Toro, although we know him as Coco. And we're gonna watch the trailer. So three, two, one, go. <laughs> Goodbye, Jurassic World. Oh, no! I believe it. Um, guys? Or not. <laughs> oh, King just got a beard. I did not notice that. It Promising. wasn't a total disaster. How is that not a disaster? Think. What haven't we tried yet? There's got to be a fix. Every problem always has a fix. Ooh. Everybody spread out! We shouldn't be here. Everyone knows this Mono place is haunted. What do we do now? Oh, yeah. Ooh. E750. Oh, Scorpius Rex. This is log entry 239. Hey, Woo. What's going the on, The E750 man? project is extremely aggressive. We found the lab Dr. Wu was using to make the Indominus Rex. If you think the Indominus was bad... We can't wait uh, any longer. We have to leave the uh, island now. I don't like now. that. Don't like that. Oh, Blue. Wonder where she's running from? Great. Ah, oh, there's the damn Orthodox scene. Well, that was frightening. So there it is, guys. There is the official trailer. Now, let's get into the thing that everybody's going to talk about, which is, of course, the Scorpius Rex. Now, I just went, um, oh, I don't like that. And it's not the Scorpius Rex. I've, I haven't gone over my full opinion on it. Like, to be honest, I'm not fully fussed with the Scorpius Rex. I'm not, like, I don't love it, and I don't, but I like it. And this has gotten me starting to love it again. Because, like, when I saw the toy version of it, I was very, very worried about it. Because, like, it looked so weird in that. Like, that blue and the yellow. It, it was, like, kind of a... Uh, never mind. We're not going into that. But I will say I very... This trailer was awesome. Like, we get to see the Scorpius Rex at the end. We see its, um, raptor-like foot. Like, from... What's strange is... It looks like it's going to be black, like the Indoraptor, but the toy shows it to be like a very um, pale blue from what it looked from the picture. It was a little out of focus and stuff, so it may be a darker blue, but still, it looked very pale with a yellow underbelly. But this has the color of like the Indoraptor, which I'm, I'm seeing a lot of similarities to the Indoraptor, how they've shown it, because... Like, it showed it right at the end with, like, bits and pieces of its body. Similar to how, um, in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom's second trailer, I believe it was, when we first got to see the Interactor, we didn't get a full look at it. We got, like, glimpses. We got to see its foot. We got to see it reaching towards Maisie. 
and little glimpses, and I'm getting that feeling, like, I'm feeling, like, I've said in before, like, I think when Season 2's trailer came out, I've said that, um, I felt like Season 2 was going towards more of a Lost World feel. I'm feeling like this is going for more of a Fallen Kingdom tone. Like, it hasn't, this has, Fallen Kingdom's more of an action horror, and Lost World's more of like a horror action. We see it like rub, the Scorpius Rex rubs on the fence and stuff, and we see that the kids are very scared of it, but, and then we get a better look at its head with the eye, and yeah, like, that. from what we've seen of the eye, it looks, it looks very similar to the, um, Indoraptor, like it's got quills on it. I also can see there's little um, hints of blue all over its skin. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but I'll be showing images while I'm doing this. But one thing that I don't like about what this tra I'll go into one of my negatives of the trailer first. I know I shouldn't be saying that, but um, it's with when we're with Dr. Wu. Like, Brooklyn says, you think the Indominus Rex is bad? I, I was just like, no, 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 don't do that. Like. It's making Indominus Rex feel like kind of puny and not as good. I don't know. I just don't like that line. Like, it kind of, it's kind of like what they did with Indoraptor, but they're doing it in the wrong way. Like, Indominus Rex was shown in a way we know it's overpowered and stuff, but it was d shown to be able to be overpowered. Like, we see it in its fights, how it does overpower, become overpowering. Like with the Ankylosaurus, it start it starts off not too great. It gets smacked in the face with the club, and doesn't isn't able to bite into it. But as soon as it realizes it can't get it from above, like from its top or back, it realizes it, it flips it over and then breaks its neck. That's the kind of overpowered Indominus Rex is. And then within the Raptor, which we're not really shown what it can really do, which is kind of the horror of it, because we know it's supposed to be more dangerous than the. Um, Indominus Rex, and they don't really just flat out say it. But with them, the kids just saying, oh, you thought Indominus Rex was bad? Now I'm gonna be really judgy on this Scorpius Rex. I don't know. I think they're trying to make the Scorpius Rex seem like more dangerous than it actually could be, because if it was more dangerous, then I'll say it again like I did in the theory video. Why didn't Dr. Wu bring it with him to Eli Mills? Why did he leave it there? Unless he, unless we're going to see Manticore, and then it's going to be revealed that Manticore is coming to collect the Scorpius Rex. Which, if that is the case, very interesting because we haven't seen, we don't see um Manticore in there. But let's stop talking about the Scorpius Rex. It was nice and stuff. I don't like the way that it's basically saying oh it's supposed to be the super hybrid and stuff when realistically. Indoraptor would be the super hybrid. That's just my opinion. But let's go back to um, just before the Monolophosaurus shadow, and um, we see this m building. Now, I've already seen some videos on like people's reactions to this. Like I've seen the Gaming Beaver. I've seen Swerve, Evolution Square. I haven't seen one from Clayton yet, so I may be wrong in this, but all of them have so far said that this is the visitor center from Jurassic Park. Um, I'm afraid it's not, because it look the only part of it that's similar is the doors, but it doesn't, it doesn't have the right shape or anything, so I don't know why people are immediately jumping to that. It's really, um, interesting to see this building, because we don't know what it actually is. I'm f thinking it's going to be the residence of John Hammond, but let's get into something that was an awesome shot. The Monolophosaurus. Now, we don't get to see the full thing. We only get to see um, a shadow of it. Now, some people have actually said that it may be Proceratosaurus. I don't think so. Because of um, Proceratosaurus has had a toy, I believe, and so has Monolophosaurus. But the way that the head is shaped more matches Monolophosaurus than Proceratosaurus. It's a... Like, especially the crest from the shadow. But... Like, it looks really nice. And we can see that we're in some sort of home again. And it looks a little bit dirty and stuff. It doesn't look fully overgrown, which m may be the same building as um earlier in the trailer that we just talked about. But, yeah. The, I love the model of source. I hope it's not going to be like some sort of trick where it's like the kid's fooling around. Because, guys, this is not the time. You, 
And especially um, with um, Kenji saying this place is cursed or haunted, which leaves me to believe it's even more closely um, related to John Hammond or something. Which, anything with John Hammond, I'm all for. So we see um, them attempt to get off the island and stuff with a raft that they've made, unsuccessfully of course, but let's talk about how the characters look in this scene. Like, um, for one, a lot of them look very, like, slightly different. Like, Kenji for one is growing a beard. Like, one, one of those strap beards, which I think I'm starting to grow a little bit, whatever. Um, Yasmina, well, Yasmina and Sammy's hair is grown a lot. Like, you can tell slight differences. Like, I'll probably, I may put in some pictures showing the difference between them. But also, if you just look at Brooklyn's hair, like, the pink in front of her hair is starting to, like, go very away. Like, it was just starting to, like, disappear in, like, the in season two but now it's like really going away but we get some shots of them um, some dinosaurs like the brachiosauruses with a storm like brewing which means it's gonna be a real mess on isla nublar and we see the kids i'm um, crossing out ideas for what they've done and what the, how to escape like one with the with a helicopter um let's see any others there's one with some um, gyrospheres for some reason and i can't tell what the other one are because like they're being blocked but who knows i think one of them says the monorail but i don't know what you'd use the monorail for um let's see what else um we see um sammy and um brooklyn going to um underground again and they're looking for e750 i don't think they're actually looking for a scorpius rex but they're looking for something down there and they find out Scorpius Rex or E750, whichever one you want to go with, has escaped. And we see them find a video, um, a few videos with Dr. Henry Wu, including one where where he's um, wearing his sweater and stuff just before, during the events of Jurassic World. It does lead to the part where Brooklyn's saying that, oh, the, you thought the Indominus Rex was bad? I, I don't like that, guys. I just don't like it. I'm not going to continue on that I already went on it um let's see what else we get some more shots of um e750 breaking out um we get some shots of um Brooke I mean Yasmina um jumping over a river which she's holding something in her hand which I don't know what it is but interestingly when it cuts to the last part it shows her like being dragged away or something which i think is just like an editing trick where like oh you think she barely makes it but from the other shot you can tell that she really makes it and stuff because like she's got a perfect landing basically i'm thinking that the part where it's showing her like being pulled back maybe she's being dragged away by something which will we see um the kids getting like injured i doubt we're gonna see them get killed because yes the the show's um, rating has actually gone up to 12, I think. Like PG-12, I think, or 13, it's one of those ones. But I doubt that they're gonna kill one of the kids. Like, most horror, mov most horror movies, unless they're like a Stephen King one where kids are supposed to die. Um, other than that, like, kids are rarely killed in movies, which kind of loses tension and stuff, but... um. I doubt she's gonna be killed, but maybe she actually gets injured, which will be a bummer for her because she just recovered from a um, sprained ankle. Um, and we get those Dimorphodon shots, which there was a little clip posted the other day um, of um, Yasmina and um, Brooklyn, I think it was, um, stealing some dino eggs, which I'm wondering what that's gonna be about. Maybe it's, maybe it's a way to tease, like, Manticore. Like, maybe they're being forced to steal these eggs. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. But we see the Dimorphodons are not happy with it, which finally, after six years, we finally have a returning, we have the return of the Dimorphodon. Not only that, um, other dinosaurs have shown to return, like, including the Gallimimus. Um, I don't think it's shown in this trailer, but... There's been images and also a little, um, 
a Netflix version of the trailer was posted as well, and it shows Gallimimus actually flocking in her, moving in herds, like they did in Jurassic Park and Jurassic World, which we haven't really seen them in, at all in Camp Cretaceous. Before we continue, one of the pictures that, there was quite a few pictures posted and stuff, like ones of like Parasaurolophus um, wandering about and stuff, but oh my god, there was the cutest heaven picture of a baby Brachiosaurus. Oh my God, it was so cute. I swear to God, if I, I have, I'm worried, but I hope they don't kill it. If they kill it, I'm going to lose my, I think I might die for one. And two, it'll show, it'll give me pure evidence to go to court that um, Colin Trevorrow hates Brachiosaurus, which, so yeah, there was a picture with the baby Brachiosaurus um, being comforted by um, Yaz, Sammy, and um, Brooklyn, which, was adorable and there's a few other pictures and there may be even more when i'm recording this but i don't know about them up if there are then i'll just show you the images but something let's talk about some things that haven't been shown in the trailer like for one we haven't seen bumpy which um a lot of people have been theorizing that she might die in this season which I actually have the opinion that she may, and I'm actually working on a video for that soon. But we haven't seen her yet. But during the part where we see the Scorpius Rex and we see the fence around the kids' camp, um, I have a th I'm theorizing. I believe that could be used not just for defense from the Scorpius Rex, because I doubt that's going to stop the Scorpius Rex. But I think it might be as protection for Bumpy, because like. Bumpy can't come up into the camp with it. No. She's stuck on the ground with all other kind of dinosaurs, so she needs some protection when she's sleeping. Um, we don't see Rexy as well. I'm, I'm looking through the trailer and we don't see any sign of her, which is strange. Maybe she's not going to have a big role in this, but who knows? And, um, oh yeah, one more thing that I forgot to talk about was Blue. We see Blue attacking the kids in the uh, in a Jeep, it looks like, or a Mercedes, whichever one, I don't, I don't know. But we see that she is going to not be the friendly dinosaur that everybody seems to think her as. Because everybody's theorized that, believes that now she, Velociraptors are going to be the tame carnivores and like, when, when Dominion comes out, we're going to get some new feisty carnivores and stuff again. Like, that's not entirely true. Looks like Blue is going to be a, a, a very dangerous animal again. Which, I don't know how much they're going to use her. I actually have a feeling that maybe she'll actually face off against the Scorpius Rex. I don't know. But, oh, that's good. Um... Yeah, guys, that's really it. There isn't too much else to explain. Um, I'll be doing some more videos, of course, like if there's anything else I want to talk about, like videos that are coming up. I've got one about Brooklyn that's already been recorded and stuff. It'll be coming on the weekend. I will be doing the, I've got um, the Bumpy video that I just talked about. The, another one's gonna be with um, the, unknown building that we see which i'm still theorizing is going to be hammond's residence but yeah guys that's it what do you guys think of the trailer and are you excited as i am for season three because oh my god this we're less than a month away guys less than a month we are going to do it but if you've enjoyed this um little reaction i'd appreciate the like and if you want to um join the hunt Hit the subscribe button, be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.